got bribes in Atlanta. She's the lean in the family. Credit cards in the What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Laughing Cody back out of another FIFA 17 prediction. This time it's Arsenal versus Manchester City. It's a big game for Arsenal. It's actually a big game for both the teams, but I think it's bigger for Arsenal, especially Arsene Wenger, because I think his he's his position at the club is in contention, and I think this game is really going to prove whether he's going to be staying or not. I think, anyways. But currently, Arsenal is in the sixth place. With 50 points, they've only played 27 games though. Manchester City have played one more game than Arsenal and they have 57 points. Currently sitting in 4th place, just ahead of um, Manchester United who's in 5th place with also 28 games, 53 points. If Arsenal wins this, they're going to be tied on points with Manchester United for 5th place, which is not that good. You know, but it's better than sixth place. Um, if they lose, then yeah, it's going to be really difficult to bounce back. But it's a really important game for us and Wenger. It's an important game for Arsenal, but it's even more important for us and Wenger. And so that's why I think Arsenal is going to win this one. I think they're going to win it 2 0. Uh, nothing against Man City, nothing against Pep Guardiola. Uh, it's just that it's way too important for us and Wenger this game, and I don't think he's going to let. It slip away. Yeah, that's what I think. I think Arsenal's gonna win 2 0. What do you think is gonna happen? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, enjoy the video. Hello, once again, I'm Martin Tyler, and this is the Emirates Stadium. Manchester City have come relatively late to prominence, haven't they? They've had their injection of cash, and the richness of resources has led to richness in results. And Arsenal have got their work cut out against this city side. Yeah, well, City are the blueprint, aren't they, for what Arsenal want to become. They, they have got money to spend, and they've got a good team here, and uh, that seems to be close. Alexis Sanchez it always plays with such hunger, as if every game's going to be his last. Three in his last three, the talisman for the team here, no doubt. This is the Arsenal lineup. Petacek starts in goal. Monreal starts alongside Hector Bellerin in the fullback positions. And playing through the middle today, up front, Alexis Sanchez. Manchester City's lineup today. Willie Caballero starts in goal. Carl Clichy starts with Bakary Sanya as the wide defenders. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Yaya Toure in central midfield. Sergio Aguero is the sole striker. And Arsenal moved here, they put up the dates of the club's successes around the stadium. But for a while there was nothing that had actually happened since the Emirates had been the home ground. But of course, in 2014 and 2015 they won the FA Cup on both occasions and they'll be hoping that opens the floodgates in that respect. Yeah, I think that's what this ground is missing. History, matches that you can look back on when maybe you clinch the league. Uh, if they can add that to this uh, fantastic stadium, then it really will feel like home and something to replace Hybrid with. Good through pass. Very quick early in the game to give the foul. Sometimes you get the benefit of a doubt early in the game. Maybe not as much as happened uh, years and years ago. But there's no messing about from the referee here. He's seen something he doesn't like. Yellow card early in the game. Yeah, I think the nature of the challenge didn't give the ref too much choice there, as much as you Sergio want to. Aguero. It's looking good. Well, Koscielny is the culprit there. It's a free kick. Card for Koscielny. Was that just a case of mistiming the tackle? Well, it is a foul, Martin. He didn't really seem to get his balance right there before making the challenge. And the goalkeeper's got to collect the ball. And here's the shot. What a fine save. And that's a corner. Options now for the pass. And the cross coming in. Sanchez, Alexis Sanchez, who makes light of the opportunity, he tucked it away and he never looked like failing to score. And that's the goal then for Arsenal. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost, they saw it coming from a long way out. 
Well, it was. They're, they're a powerful side and they really do attack the ball with a lot of aggression. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Shots on here. Taking the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee. 1 0 the half time score. It's been an admirable first half from Alexis Sanchez. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. They decided to make a change, and being behind, you can understand that. It's Manchester City to start this second half. The equaliser here. He's reached it and turned it aside. Manchester City have a corner. The last ball. Looking at the bench because they've got to get the injured man off and bring on a substitute. Forward with some danger. Walcott. Goal! Oh, lead by two now. Took the chance nicely. And that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Well, the unpredictability of football because no one would have called this really. And the team has risen to the occasion and they've got a goal to show for their considerable efforts. Yeah, and it was a good goal as well. And uh, it came at the end of a good passage of play, so they'll get a real lift from that. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. Well, he's kept the shot down and slotted it into the back of the net. Keeper didn't stand a chance. Well, they're on the comeback trail, Alan. Yeah, I can smell something in the air here. I think they can, because they look the team on the up now. We restart the game 2-1. Substitution now. Might use up a bit of time here as well for the team that want to hang on to this lead. That's very good link-up play. On Real! The defenders managed to get in the way there. All right, so I predicted that it was going to be 2-0 to Arsenal at the beginning of the game, and FIFA 17 thinks it's going to be 2-1 to Arsenal. Now, that's a very good shout-out from FIFA 17. It could very well happen. Actually, that would be more interesting to watch uh, from a neutral perspective, which I am a neutral in this case. Uh, so, yeah, that's it's going to be a great game if it was a 2-1. Let's hope it is a 2-1, full of goals, attacking football, amazing football. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And as always, if you like this video, smash that like button in the nutsack. Subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want to do. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a nice. Listen.